Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Oh wait, this is a puzzle game. Game review. By <laughs> Big Potato Games. This is a thousand piece puzzle, but it's got a little bit of a twist to it. It has 101 hidden movies within the puzzle itself. So you'll be putting together this puzzle, and then you'll be looking through the puzzle and determining all the different movies that you could possibly find. So all the movie references to very popular movie titles. Unless you're me and you are more into the obscure movies and most of these kind of boggle your mind. But anyway, I'll go ahead and get into it. I'll show you what comes within the game, what it looks like, and then of course how to play it. Pretty simple, right? And then we'll give you our review for the game Night at the Movies by Big Potato Games. Well, as you may have guessed, this is basically a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, we've only actually reviewed one other jigsaw puzzle before, which had its own style of drinking game attached to it. When you build the puzzle, you drink based on what pieces you put together or what, what images you put together. In this one, however, this is kind of like a neon movie puzzle style game in which you're going to be placing down the pieces according to huh, whatever way works best for you. Yep, you can put together the puzzle and then you'll be able to look for, maybe during the puzzle process, you found some of the movie references. You can use this chart and Handy dandy list. cheat sheet. <laughs> yes to write down all of the movie references that you find. Yeah, and you can also use this in multiple different ways. You can actually, um, basically, when you find one, go to here, look for where it is, and put it down. Or you can kind of visual... Wait till the end, yeah. Yeah, wait till the end, and look at one of these guys, go to the reference that it gives you, and then deduce what movie that, that it is. Mm -hmm. We uh, finished the entire puzzle, which took, I don't know how long it took, maybe like 10 hours or something like that? Yeah, it was over the course of less than a week. Over the course of less than a week? Okay, yeah. 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 And so we had to set it aside somewhere. <laughs> and uh, we played with multiple people. Uh, puzzles are kind of like a uh, singular or multi experience where you can play with as many players as you want. They can fit around the table. And uh, after we finished the puzzle, we kind of just uh, started going around and guessing all the different movie titles. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward thing, placing the puzzle pieces down. This is no, nothing more mm, different than Intricate you would than another that, yeah. thousand piece <laughs> puzzle. I guess some of the pieces are a little thinner in certain areas, like some of the pieces on the edge are kind of tinier, to, harder to find. I, we think we're missing pieces until all of a sudden we find that specific piece. And for this puzzle specifically, there is a lot of neon colors, which all look very similar to each other, but in fact, they are just a little different. So you'll be having to kind of piece out the puzzles as you so choose. And because there's so many different small elements, that go into this because there's 101 movie references that ups the challenge for the puzzle as well because you're not sure exactly how all of them fit together because most of the things don't actually relate to each other. <laughs> yeah, no. They're kind of small vignettes of different little scenes. It's, it's, it's 101 different little scenes based mm -hmm. on different movies that are kind of put together in a like uh, amalgamation, right? It's, it's just a, a nutty, it's like a nutty town basically. There's, yeah, there's some overlap of, of this theme. You can kind of see the, there's kind of a uh, setting, a the wall that goes around and different things going on that do tie them together a little bit. But yeah, very specific, small sections that we're kind of working on at the same time. <laughs> it's a crazy city is what uh -huh, it really is, uh -huh. but it's got a bunch of like random characters and, and it does fit together, but not in the way you would think a normal puzzle would fit. Like, oh, these flowers, these next flowers, these flowers, this is all part of the rose garden. No, it's like, here's the fish, and then the teddy bear is right next to it with the car. <laughs> and right there is the wall, and adjacent to that is a chicken. So it's it's, it's a little bit yeah. interesting like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and, that's, that's it. There's nothing else to show you. It's 100, a, a thousand pieces, 101 movie references in a puzzle. Okay, so I guess we, we, we review this. I mean, we kind of already was, were we reviewing it previously, but, uh, uh, this was a lot of fun. I'm not a huge puzzle guy, and so my brain turns off after a while, and specifically puzzles like this one that have, uh, to me, more difficult uh, settings and more uh, similar colors. Like there's a million different yellows on here. There's a million different blues and the purples pinks and were really pinks. Challenging. <laughs> They're everywhere on this puzzle, and that was really challenging for me specifically. Um, I'm one of those like I do just the outline, and then afterwards I try and fit a few pieces together, and then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm I suck at this. <laughs> I love puzzles like this, and um, I just love putting yeah putting the pieces together and then kind of discovering the puzzle as you go. You might be able to notice actually the covered does give you some clues, but it's not actually the whole puzzle piece. So even if you use the cover, you don't 
have all of the clues. And if you do want a clue of what everything looks like, there is one on the other side of the um, pamphlet that comes with the game. Yeah, so there's a black and white version where it kind of separates the different uh, types Movie of movies. References, and then there's also the color, full color um, option to see the full puzzle. So uh, she like oh. she doesn't like to cheat. I she don't, just she because doesn't... I like discovering like oh this goes here oh this is supposed to be upside down actually and it happens in this puzzle. The <laughs> like only way are, like, to do it is to cheat. Places. That's no. the only way to do no. it. Uh -uh. Otherwise, it takes forever. It okay? does take longer, but it goes faster with more people too. Yeah. You kind of get some conversation going about that and also about the movie references because that could happen organically as you're putting it together. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is I don't I don't know if I want to I want to give it away any of the movie references, another guarantee but. with reviewing this is you know our review is accurate and that we've played it enough times because the entire puzzle has been completed complete. <laughs> right so some reviewers might have only played the game once but in this case you know that we finished the entire puzzle and thus we can give you our fair and honest review of the game it was getting too late to find all the movie references last because we just finished it last night. <laughs> so well, we did as many as we could, could yeah, and then it was yeah. like super it was late. It was like 11.30. Like, okay. I'm like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> we didn't go through all of them, so there are a few on here. And we'll give like, I don't know, we'll show off the pic a picture. I'll do some B-roll of the pictures here, mm -hmm. and you can kind of try and figure out some of your some of your own references. Leave them in the comments below if you can find any of the references. Yeah, I do think it's fun as you're doing the puzzle to try to find the movie references. And it gives you another reason like, okay, well, why is there... A teddy bear in a car, you know, or something like that. <laughs> Why is there a baby in a car? <laughs> yeah, that's what baby driver, baby driver. So there's a movie there. There's Children of the Corn in here and Blazing Saddles. There's a whole bunch. We're not gonna spoil. Uh, yeah, don't them give away too you. many. <laughs> but well, they have some in the examples, uh, oh, okay. so you have an idea of how to look for them because the puzzles are uh, pretty straightforward too. Don't don't try and read into the puzzles. Uh, they are what they are. Yeah, the references are very. What do you call that? direct they are what they are yeah <laughs> you're not going to think that when you see reindeer you're not going to think of like um santa claus and christmas no it's specifically reindeer right mm -hmm. like the movie it might be reindeer games if they're playing if reindeer it's literal playing that's games. what it is the translation of the movie reference yeah. is literal but overall it's a, it's a it's a fun puzzle i enjoyed this experience i came back to it back and forth she went through the entire thing and i was just like piecing and i'd come and place pieces mm -hmm. down danielle joined us and played the puzzle mm -hmm. so you can play with multiple people you know if you've played a puzzle before then you know what to expect with this one it's a little bit more complex it has an additional game to it and overall it's just a lot of fun it makes me want to do more puzzles now again <laughs> i hadn't done one in so long well, and this was a pretty big one. To me, this is probably the biggest puzzle I've actually partially completed or, or watched the completion Supported. of. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I hear there's like scarier puzzles and bigger ones. Oh, yeah. There's no way I'd go farther than this. Well, I was a kid, I would do like 3D puzzles and stuff too. I loved puzzles. My my grandmother and I would would uh, do puzzles together all the time. <laughs> well, maybe that's maybe we'll have to do more puzzles. But I don't know how many how many times can you review a different puzzle? Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and, I know, and, I know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe they'd be like we'll have to develop a rating system for yes. the challenge level. So, good good idea. One through ten stars for this puzzle. How much fun did you have? The challenge, just just overall combination of puzzle experience. I think eight. It's very bright and colorful, which lend and lends to the complexity as well as so many different scenes and the movie references as an additional element you don't have in in every type of puzzle all right for me puzzles are usually like a two just because i suck at them and after a while i get like my brain hurt but but i will give this an extra three points just because I love the theme and I mm -hmm. love the movie references. Mm -hmm. That was super fun. I we spent a lot of time looking at all mm -hmm. these things and, and we put down a, a, quite a bit of the, the movies here. So this was a lot of fun. And for a puzzle, for me to even push it to a five means that uh, I, I did enjoy this game. So if you're interested in picking up the game though, the Night at the Movies, there'll be a link down below in the description. And then let's go ahead and hit the outro. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Night at the Movies by Big Potato Games. If you want to pick it up, like we said before, there's a link. Also, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on this channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button. You can also go ahead and join us on our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Don't forget to also go and check us out on Patreon. A dollar a month helps us do more things like this. And of course, our live stream every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, where we play games 
not like this one. No, we don't no. play games like this one. <laughs> Usually I say just like this one, but no, 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 we don't play this game. Let's just watch us put together a puzzle. I mean, mm, I don't think that would be very fun. Yeah, that would be boring. But although we did miniature painting once, and that was more popular than we thought. So yeah, who knows? people really liked us <laughs> painting miniatures, embarrassingly. Um, and of course, you can also go ahead and uh, check out Moonshell. It's going to be coming out in the next couple weeks here. We're shipping them out. So shipping is starting as of today. We will get to the next three weeks or so. Uh, we have some deluxe copies going out at the end of like probably that mm, period, yeah. End of the, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna barely miss Christmas with some people, and some people will get it in Christmas. We did our utmost. Yeah. All right. For most we're, Kickstarter we campaigns, this one did yeah. better than most. Yeah. So Especially right now for our first game, delayed. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> and we paid extra on shit, man. We went above and beyond for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this review. And as always, we look forward to seeing See you guys, guys next time. time. Seriously, that shipping was expensive. Yep. Yeah. Oh, grumpy. Oh.